Hello and a warm welcome to this video. I'm Ali J. We're back in Horizon Forbidden West, New Game Plus, Hard Difficulty. And I've made my way over to the start of this mission, this boat, to San Francisco. We can see San Francisco in a the distance there. And we're going to take this boat to it. And when we get there, we will recognize some landmarks like the Transamerica Pyramid, the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, I think the Salesforce Tower is there and Coit Tower as well. So we'll make our way across by boat. This is quite a nice scene. We'll keep this and then we'll use our Sunwing to fly to where we need to get to, which is a settlement where we'll find Alva again. Now the cool thing about the Burning Shores DLC is we do get to drive a boat, which was quite fun. I did enjoy that, but in this part, the main part of the game, we don't get to. Closest we get is this cutscene. It really is a beautiful looking game. Okay, so we will call in our Where are the Quen? They're on landfall, I guess. I better go find it. Right, let's to the northeast. It's not working. Here we go. Right, we just had to wait for Aloy to finish talking. We'll make our way over to Legacy's landfall. So there's a Transamerica Pyramid in the distance there. What else can we see? Golden Gate Bridge. I think Alcatraz is here as well. I'm still getting a signal from my focus. So these are the ruins of San Francisco. The entire city of crumbling towers. And somewhere buried out here is Thebes. I hope Oliver and Quinn can help me find it. So we need to find Thebes, which is a place where Tad Farrow, the CEO of Farrow Industries, I think he hid out there. And then he has the Omega Clearance stored there, which we need for the next part. Right, where do we go now? Am I heading the right direction? I think so. Yes. Yes, over here. See the Quen, they build ships, so we can see the ship dock there. That's how they travel. Let's just go around. I'm sure we need to touch down in this area here, so we can glide the rest of the way. Now they know about Ted Farrow, so much so that their leader takes after Ted Farrow and calls himself CEO, CEO, Chief Executive Officer, but they say CEO. It's quite funny. Right, we're here, Legacy's Landfall. This is Landfall, right? So he is the CEO, CEO as they call him. And we need to go and take down an apex thunderjaw. Then, then she resupply. Then we will follow when our scout. So he, he, COC. They call it CEO, but a CEO, chief executive officer, like Ted Farrow was of uh, Farrow Industries. I think we go this way. Yeah, we go around here. So 
so before we take on the Thunder Jewel, let's just remind ourselves what is the Apex Thunder Jewel week to. So the Apex is a level 48, an acid. Strong to everything else, but weak to acid. So the Apex variants are tougher and deal more damage as well. And Thunder Jewels on their own are pretty tough. They uh, have a lot of weapons. They have cannons on their back, two of them, lasers at the front. So the normal variant is a level 30, the Apex is a level 48, and this mission is a level 26. So like I was saying before, they do throw in high level enemies, and in this case, a level enemy that is 22 higher levels higher than the mission. Yeah, 22 levels higher. So that's why I was glad I spent the time investing in upgrading armor and weapons to be able to deal with those surprises. Alright, we've got plenty of acid, we will use that. So we jump down here and the Apex Thunder Jewel will creep up behind us. There he is, we heard him. Right, let's just hit him with the acid first. And he had he does have a weak spot at the front there. Oh that did damage, didn't it? Let's hit him again with acid. He's not quite covered. There he is. Now it's corroding. That red glowy part is a real weak spot for him. No, I missed that. Let's try again. Oh, okay, I didn't think he'd fire it off. Wow, we see those cannons. Okay, no problem. We've done a lot of damage to him. Uh, yes, acid is doing a lot, which is good. I don't think he can get us from there, no. Oh, that acid is really doing a lot of the work. Let's just hit him again with acid. Oh, I missed that, whoops. Nice. Okay, good. We'll hit him again. Nice, a lot of damage there. Try again. Oh, this is a good spot to hide, isn't it? Is that enough? Nice, got him. Now let's heal up. And grab some berries to refill. There should be some around here. When we fight a large enemy like that, they should keep them around. Maybe in this box here, this chest. Let's try. Yep, we got it. Let's just take that while we're here. Okay, now we can go inside and explore. And we will find Alva here as well. You killed that machine. Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to Alva. By all means then. Open the gates. So there she is. The legacy Tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Trying to skip this. This awaits us below. Shall we? Just hoping we could use the workbench, but it's fine. Quite an excavation. 
Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold! Let's just get this. So now we talk to Alva. And we're good with ammo. Alright. There's gotta be a way in down there. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for a swim. Find a way inside. And everyone will go inside. I think we just go down. Yeah, follow the light basically. And we'll go inside the facility and get what we need. Some fans as well, if I remember correctly. Okay, looks like this tunnel leads deeper into the structure. So we can swim yeah. through here. Whoa, no, we can't. Now we can swim before it starts up again. Okay, good. And then we go in here, I think, to stop the fan. There's got to be a way to stop that turbine around here somewhere. Oh, yes, disable the turbine. There we go. Stop the turbine. Good. It's not a fan, it's a turbine. <laughs> So Ted Farrow is responsible for the Farrow Plague, which basically wiped out all life on Earth. And he was a little bit mad as well towards uh, the end of it. He, he destroyed Apollo, which contained all of the information about what humanity had achieved. He didn't want uh, the New World to repeat the same mistakes. Right, what are we doing here? Oh, it's a gym. Right, okay. Yes, yeah, so this was a luxury facility to hide out in. So we go through here, and we're going to open a door for the others, I think, through here. Let's hope this is the way to the main door, so I can let the coin in. Look at this place. And there is a large statue of Ted Farrow, which we will see soon enough. Alright, let's let everyone else in. And they're going to force Aloy to wear some pajamas. <laughs> I spent time upgrading my armor, and they forced me to wear these pajamas to look like Elizabeth Sobek. And we can't change back, see? At first, Aloy refuses, but then she does. So he can dress like Ted Farrow. She can dress like Elizabeth Sobek. They want the full, authentic experience, right? Let's just go. Somewhere in here, Farrow left his secrets. Let's go find them. So look at this army with the weapons. Just look, he's got a big uh, gun there. Another, I think it's a Deathbringer. The armored. It feels safe, right? Oh yeah, we're going to fight together. No, we're not. They're going to run at the first sign of trouble, and then they're going to turn on us. There he is. Ted Farrow. Then they're going to turn on us. But not Alva. Alva is very loyal. Right, let's do this. 
Remember every detail of his, Bohai, for posterity. It will be its own... Oh, and don't worry, that CEO, he is going to die. Right, so we are going to get a fight here. Against... The... What are we going to fight here? I think they're weeks of fire. What do we fight? It's coming up. Yes, corruptors. We're going to fight a couple of those. They're weak to fire. Okay, we'll frost them as well. That should work. Okay, let's do it. There they are. See, they, they run away. Alright, this one. Let's get the other. Whoa, okay. I set it with fire. Nice. Perfect. A little bit hurt there, no problem. We've got berries. Nice. So they ran away and hid behind a door. This is. We were in trouble. Okay, let's well, carry on. Thanks. Where's Overseer Boa? He has decided to return to the surface. A wise choice. We can't afford to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no more delay. We must proceed. You know, we're going to need the sharp shot bow. Let's just craft some ammos now. So Ted Farrow was doing experiments on living longer. He actually didn't die. We see him, well, we see something here that he did An impressive setup. and turned and mutated into something, but we don't actually see what that was. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms called mutation. Need to reload the bolt blaster in case we need it later. Or whenever we need it. Okay, and then we'll keep this ready. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization. I scanned it already, didn't I? Yeah. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. This is something they use to extend human life. The results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues, or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kenya. You saw something. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Is that a small office for a minor function? So we're looking for Omega Clearance. We need that in order to get Hephaestus from the Gemini Cauldron. And then Ava will join us back at the base. Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. I can feel it. Yes, we go up here. of some sort not a bad idea break the door down I'm going to look for another way in good idea it's worked before very well oh, console. yes so this is when we find out what happened to Ted Farrow And as soon as he dies, everything will burn down. That's how he rigged it. Omega clearance. Got it. So our priority will then to be run away. Not worry about fighting anyone. Maybe fire for a few shots just in case. Along with his kid. 
Found him on the floor of his office this morning, holding hands. Must have poisoned themselves. I never would have put them to sleep. She was just a girl, for Christ's sake. I offered them life, and this is how they repaid me. By leaving me all alone. But I guess I've been alone since this whole thing began. Alone in bearing the burden for the past, for the future. Same old Ted. No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come, and I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes that my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Sometimes if the reactor can give me what I need. To grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. See, she's my horrified advice. by what she sees, but we don't actually get to see it ourselves. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. <sighs> At last, Pharaoh's legacy is mine. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down and... Kill them too. No witnesses. Well, See, they turn on us. Easily dead. Oh, we're nearly dead too. Oh, yikes. I can't even see in the fire. Oh! Finally, okay, he's dead. Okay, good. Let's go. We need to run. No, we can't run yet. Where is he? Where's that big gun? Here we go, let's have some fun. Nice, okay. Let's run. Look at Elva, she's on fire. Whoa. Okay, we need to get out of here. Everything's going to burn. Oh, I can't remember which way to go. Let's keep going. Let's just ignore. See, look at that. The fire and everything. No, we're going to ignore them. Oh, he's firing quickly, isn't he? Right, I think we go this way. Not that way. Yeah, up here. Let's just run. We don't need to fight anyone. We need to get out of here. That's the priority. Oh, pry open. Alva will be fine, don't worry. Right, we just keep running. Oh, not in the fire. Oh. Uh, not that way. I think this way. Yeah, through here. We're on fire as well. Okay, let's just heal up. It's fine. Keep going. Oh, got a bit stuck. And 
through here. But a statue has fallen. There he goes. Alright, so we go... Yeah, we can jump across here. And then... Yeah, across here. There we go. We can just ignore them. Nearly there. I mean, the whole building is falling down and they want to kill us. Not really thinking about their own safety now, were they? Nice, we made it. something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CEO? He's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But. Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Well, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Look at her, giddy and excited. <laughs> but you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Oh, 
Right, well that all went smoothly. The Apex Thunder Jaw. The Corruptors at the bottom. Nice. Is there a... Fire camp? Yes there is, so we can fast travel back to the base. Here it is. Be worth looking around the island too. I gotta change out of these clothes. Oh yes, let's change out the clothes. Yes. <laughs> Aloy's not happy about that. Neither was I. Right, let's equip the Thunder, uh, the Nora Thunder Warrior armor. But I like the look of this. So you just tap triangle, and the look is applied. But you get the benefits of the armor you've equipped. Perfect. So we go back to the base. Yes, we need to go back to the base. That's right. To start the next mission. Right. We're in the end game now. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. So let's heal up while we're here and then resupply. I don't think this will jump straight into the next mission. I do want that to be for the next video. So what I'll do is we'll stop it here. So like I said, that went very smooth. I'm very happy with that. Thank you for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And please join me for the next mission. Until then, this is Ali J signing off for now.